You guys are in the hood of my car right now. How is it? Is it cool in here? Tell me it's cool in here. Tell me this is the coolest space you've ever, you've ever experienced. That's all I can handle. Because honestly, if I could live inside the hood of a car, I would. It's so magical, let me show you. <clears throat> House tour. Okay, so my bed is right there, right above the battery so that I can use that as my nightstand for charging my f for charging my phone and then the kitchen is right here that is where i do all of my cooking my scrumptious delicacies and then that is my slide that i use to get to the backyard and then over there is the laundry room and then over there that is the bathroom this and that is the guest is room the and then i think that's it my audio cut out in the real video so i'm doing a voiceover right now but I remembered all of my beautiful rooms in my house, so do not fret. Anyway, this is my gorgeous house. I really hope that you love it. I hope that you guys come over for a housewarming party one day or just a regular party because this is my favorite place to be. So anyway, like I was saying earlier, um, that's my house. I really hope you like it. There's a lot of like decor and stuff. And sometimes there's spiders and sometimes there's like a little bit of oil leaking around but it's just part of the experience so you just need to be grateful that i allowed you into my house so anyway i just put my battery back in so i'm gonna try and start my car and see if it works and if it does then hallelujah if it doesn't then i'm still grateful regardless but i'm kind of pissed off because I spent a lot of money on this car and um, it should be working. Whatever. My best friend is a mechanic. She's not actually a mechanic, but she's gonna watch this and she's gonna be like, yeah, yeah. So if it doesn't work, I'll just call her and tell her to fix it. She doesn't live in the same state as me though, so she'll only be able to fix it with her um, mind. Let's see if my car works. Isn't life just so full of wonder and joy and um, working cars? My car does not work. Still, it was charging all night and nothing. I turned my key and it's just like, uh. So, so essentially, I am now, I am now forced to use my Lamborghinis and Chevrolets as my um, mode of transportation, which is okay, except for that I don't live in the most walkable city in the world. I could walk to the gym, I could walk to the store. That's it. That's all I can walk to. Um, the only other place I would really need to walk to is the post office, but I it's so far away I can't do that. Maybe I'm just meant to be a pilgrim. Maybe I'm just meant to travel via foot. Because the amount of it times this car has broken down on me for so many different reasons. I'm really trying not to be super upset, but I am pretty upset. Because I'm not, I'm not in the business of having a broken car all the time. I want to be in the business of having a nice car that is wonderful, but haven't sold enough t-shirts to do that yet, but eventually I will. But for now though, I have a lot of things to do today and sitting around and sulking about my car is not one. My hair looks actually disgusting. Why didn't you guys tell me that my hair looked this bad? Um, I really don't wanna shower though because I'm going on a plane on Wednesday. But also I have a feeling that my shampoo and conditioner is really damaging my hair a lot because my hair has not been as bad as it's been since I've gotten the shampoo and conditioner and it's kind of stressing me out. But anyway, whatever, not my problem, not my business. Today, I just finished walking on my little at-home treadmill for like 30 minutes, I think. 
and that felt really really good it always feels strange like after you've been walking on the treadmill for a second and then you get off and then you feel like unbalanced a little bit because a treadmill is essentially assisted walking like it you're still getting a little bit of a workout in but it's not as beneficial as real walking and it also just is like a little unbalancing what is the word for that anyway i look not good right now like my hair looks so bad but i really don't want to wash it because my shampoo and conditioner is so bad um but my cousin's birthday is today and i'm supposed to put together a slideshow of all the reasons why it's amazing to turn 21 although i cannot come up with a single thing besides drinking but she's mormon and she doesn't drink and i don't drink either for anxiety purposes so I'm thinking of making a slideshow of all the reasons why it's great to turn 50 or something like that. Something that actually has benefits. But also I don't have a way to make a slideshow. Um, and also besides on my phone, but that's boring. And also I have so much to do today, including figure out what to do with my hair, clean my house. It's not looking good back there. Um, and then film this video. I need to do some editing. I would really like to go to the gym and hit glutes because it's booty day, but my car doesn't work. So should I just go walk to the gym? But then will I even have time to do that? I don't know. I don't know. But I am going to do like a little time lapse of me cleaning my house because I would rather come home to a clean house than a dirty house. And then we'll address my hair and then probably go to my grandma's house because that's where my cousin lives. Anyway, let's clean my house now. I also need to fix some of my makeup, but this eyelash is like, I just need to reapply it. Sometimes you just need to take the whole eyelash off and reapply it. But I have a bunch of perfumes now and they're all kind of just scattered everywhere and I want to try and put them on this tray. I got this tray a long time ago from like Savers or something. And I have some perfumes wait there we go so I'll do that really quick and then I'll show you what it looks like okay this is what it's looking like I don't know if I like it I might just take the tray off and just keep them all right there give me a second okay I think I like this better but let me know what you guys like the tray or no tray currently at my vanity fixing this eyelash it's drying right now I also need to fix my eyebrows I am a mess today I am such a mess today but we will persevere regardless together should I wash my hair today you guys I cannot decide whether I should wash my hair today or not because my shampoo and conditioner isn't even that great anyway maybe I'll ask my grandma if I can shower at her house I don't know voila my lashes are reapplied now I'm gonna redo my lips and let me just fix my makeup Never mind, you guys. Fuck a time lapse. I don't wanna. I don't wanna put like music behind a video right now because it's probably gonna get copyrighted anyway. Because I don't know anything about YouTube and all the rules, um, all the rules for that. But I'm just putting away all of my T-shirt prints and whatnot because I was doing a bunch of filming, doing a bunch of filming to try to market for it. But now my room is a disaster and I cannot think or breathe while my room is a disaster. So I'm cleaning it up right now. I didn't film before. Let me just show you what my room kind of looks like right now. I'm not standing up. This is what this area looks like. My bed has laundry over here. Cleaning this up. I just cleaned up my vanity, but I need to take care of these boxes and like scrub down my vanity. Fine, I'll stand up. Fine, 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 fine. This is what it looks like. And I will show you the after as well. I did it. I cleaned my house. Look at me go. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, it didn't take that long, but it needed to be done. All I have left to do is the dishes. You can see right there that I have some dishes to get done. So let me do that really quick while I finish listening to this podcast. And then, and then I'll be back, okay? Did I already vlog this? I completely forgot. My house is clean though. Yay, go me! My beautiful big doors. Who's gonna come over? I wanna throw a party. Who's gonna come over? Would it be lame to throw a party with no drugs or alcohol? So smart. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you could use a candle or get a flame thing. 
Just burn her finger. Burn, yeah. Get a candle, Dory, so you don't burn your finger. I just got back right now from my cousin's like birthday party type thing. It was not very eventful, but I was glad to be there for her. We just like made slideshows with the perks of being 21. Um, and then, and they made some like personal pizzas and they made a cake and stuff. But I personally don't eat that stuff cause I'm like terrified of contamination. So now I'm making myself some shrimp and I'm eating some frozen mangoes and some little rice cakes as well. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with the rest of the night, probably edit YouTube videos, do some journaling, and start packing for my trip on Wednesday, which is super exciting. Um, oh, also I need to figure out what is wrong with my taxes. I really hope that you guys can hear me okay over the sound of my treadmill, but I have been trying to walk on this while I'm like editing and stuff just because I'm trying to move my body more. Why am I out of breath? That's so embarrassing. For some reason, I'm like, my cardio is really good and I don't mind walking and everything, but once I have to start talking while I'm walking, it's over. I sound like I haven't taken a step in my life. But, um, I just made myself some dinner and I ate it and now I'm walking because I don't know you guys, I love walking after dinner. I love taking a nice stroll after dinner, but it's nighttime and I'm a woman. So, and I don't really feel like having a machete on me right now. So anyway, I really just don't feel like defending myself right now. So instead, I am walking in the comfort of my own home, which is quite riveting and fun, except except that I'm just staring at my wall. Although I do make my walls really fun to stare at, so I shouldn't really be complaining that much, but I've been getting some editing done and just forcing myself to do my tasks standing up because I have goals and summer is coming up and I have never in my life been like actually genuinely proud of myself for my physical body and I would really like to do that with a mixture of working really hard for it and just loving myself into it. So here we are. I really want to travel though. I want to go and fly and go somewhere like New York or something, I don't know, something fun, somewhere I've never been. I still need to go to Albuquerque. I was gonna go to Albuquerque to visit my friend Anya, but that didn't end up working out because I got really sick. But I'm still pretty bummed about that and I need to go see her. So maybe I'll do an Albuquerque vlog. Maybe I'll do that and then I will tell you guys how I like it and then maybe one day I'll move there who knows I honestly have no roots like I have no roots anywhere my family hasn't spoken to me in so long and I, I'm assuming it's gonna stay that way so I can just go wherever I want I am definitely really curious about the East Coast but I don't know I don't know do any of you guys live in the East Coast and if you do should I come there should I make an appearance or should I mind my business and just stay in Idaho for a while? I don't know. I really don't know. I, the thing is that, like, no disrespect if you're religious, specifically the Mormon religion, but I'm not. And I used to be, I grew up in the Mormon religion, but it's just so hard, like constantly having it projected onto you and people trying to like lasso me back in because they knew that I used to be a member 
and now I choose not to do that. And I do believe in God and I am very spiritual, but I don't really feel like that religion aligns with me. But the problem is that I can say that all I want and there's not a single member who will really truly respect me for that. I actually texted my aunt like a week and a half ago because she was trying to say something about me participating in a church activity and I was super brave and I texted her this really long message about how I love her and I love, love being part of her family but I'm not it doesn't feel right for me to be practicing that religion and I've done a lot of asking and experimenting and just praying I guess about whether or not I should be in that religion or not and I've had such profound feelings that I shouldn't and that I should continue on the path that I've been on and she has not said a word to me since which really 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 sucks because I love her a lot but it's just such almost just fell over it's just such it's so heartbreaking knowing how judgmental some people can be and how they can say that they love you and say that that love is unconditional until you're honest with them about where you are religiously and then suddenly suddenly you're scum of the earth and you're their last priority and you are just this little charity case that needs to be worked on but I'm just letting it go I'm just letting that relationship go I'm learning more and more that I don't actually need my family even my extended family and that I am probably better off alone supporting myself which honestly is okay I know I probably sound a little bit negative right now but I'm happy I'm fine it hurts it stings but I'm fine I just need to find some good friends or just go travel to see my friends that I already have more often but I'm good I'm happy I'm really proud of myself for where I am and I'm just striving to continue to make choices that make me even more proud of myself so anyway little ramble over I'll see you in the next part of my video it's time Time for what, you might ask? You're like, girl, it is 0006, which means midnight 06. Right now, what could there be to do? What time could it ever so be? Pajama time. It's time to put pajamas on because I'm still in jeans and my Virgin Mary shirt. So let's put some pajamas on. I'm ready for bed. I actually typically, I actually typically sleep in underwear or nothing on my bottom half at all. But this is YouTube. I cannot do that on YouTube, even though you guys want me to. I know you want me to, but you're never gonna. But that's never gonna happen. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You guys aren't creeps. Most of you. I hope. Look at this. One of my best friends. Oh, speaking of, look at this. I went to the thrift store the other day and I found the cutest little vintage stuffed animal toy you've ever seen in your whole entire life. It's this one, look. It's like a vintage Toho House Monchichi mouse toy. But look, it's a little mouse and my little monkey. I have a ton of Monchichis. Let me know if you want like a haul of all my favorite things or maybe like a monkey collection video where I show you every single monkey item I own. That would be a long video. But anyway, they're best friends. They're actually, they're actually dating maybe. Do you guys think they're best friends or are they dating? But this one is, it's interesting because these, these ones stick their thumb in the mouth and this one has a pointer finger. He's just like, do you see that? And it's really, really, really hard to make it stick in there. But anyway. Okay, I need to stop laying in bed and scrolling on YouTube shorts, looking at recipe videos. I'm not gonna make any of those recipes. I'm not, there's not enough time in my days right now to do that. 
and I'm scared of half of those ingredients. So let's journal. Let's get my journaling out of the way. Alrighty, it is time to write about my feelings and my thoughts and my day. I am going to do an entire video on journaling and like what I do and what I say and what my mind goes through on the day today, but that day is not today that I do that. That will be a separate video coming soon, I promise, because I do have a lot of questions about that all the time. Today is the 25th of March, my cousin's birthday, that's how I remember. And, all right. What do I write? What do I write about? It's been going really well. But I can't seem to stop bullying myself for not doing more. I'm really trying to practice giving myself grace though. I've also been wildly hungry because I'm getting my period soon. I'm trying to use this as an opportunity to really practice following my hunger cues. I really need to make a close friend here. I tell myself all the time that I prefer being alone. Maybe I do. Man, this is lonely. I want to sit on my floor with a friend and stare at my wall. And laugh someday soon. I hope. I love you. X Seth. Don't put that much pressure on yourself. Like it really is not that deep. Just put the pen on paper. All that matters that is that at the end of your session there's ink on there. I think it's important to allow yourself to make some ugly little drawings sometimes. It's the next day and this is gonna be my little outro. I don't really have anything else to vlog. I have a bunch of editing to do today so I don't wanna like extend the vlog. I am gonna about to walk to the gym and then walk back because my car still doesn't work but that's not incredibly entertaining so i'm just gonna end the vlog here i love you guys please like this video comment anything at all comment your favorite part of the video your favorite song right now your favorite food right now anything at all i would love to chat with you in the comments and please subscribe if you haven't already of course every single subscriber counts and it means so much to me i i am really committing to this whole youtube thing and i'm really starting to love vlogging and I'm really starting to love learning how to film and edit all of this stuff. Um, I think the more that I do it, the more comfortable that I've been getting with it. So this is really exciting, but I'm just going to, I'm going to go now. But I'm going to go now because I have a lot of things that I need to do today. But thank you guys so million times much for watching. In the description will, below will be my small business if you want to go grab a hoodie or something to support me. And also I'll put my Instagram and my other socials. As well if you're interested in following there i post a lot on everything because i'm really trying to pursue this like i said so um yeah follow me um comment if you have any questions or comments or just uh 
little anecdotal piece of information that you want me to know that would be so lovely and thank you so much for all the love on the last video that i made where i told you about my panic attack and a little bit of my story and stuff there are so many sweet comments on that video and it truly means the world to me that it was received so well if you haven't watched that video already it's my previous video so just go to my channel and check it out it's about an hour long so you can watch it while you're getting ready or while you're journaling or something like that that way you're not like just sitting down staring at me the entire time unless you want to it's truly up to you but i'm gonna go now because i have things to do besides just talking to you guys but i could just talk to you guys all day if you want anyway I've, i'll be uploading at least once a week on youtube and i'm holding myself to that but yeah i'm gonna go now I should go now i'm stalling because i have to walk to the gym it's okay it's gonna be great it's gonna be great it's gonna be a good walk it's gonna be great okay bye